the squad. The other squad. The Luthler. Alice. And Kara. Kara. Yes. <sighs> Holy. Uh, that's the weather. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. <laughs> Gentle giant. What's up, Alice? Uh, the car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. These people Police we're going to see. To How do you know about them? Overheard the androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. President Warren immediately called for a crisis meeting of malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Alright, can we manually drive it? This doesn't look good. Whoa, that's cool. Stay inside, Alice. Right, we don't feel cold. Okay, let's... Ooh, heart attack. What are we going to do? Find shelter? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. I like your sweater coat. Very stylish. Where do we go? <laughs> do we just leave Alice? for a while. Beware! 
first models, the 100s. a magazine just in there looking all feisty here's a gossip we call androids band tip for a music price make a bed for Alice check Luther's bag There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Check the gun. Clock, clock. Safety first, eh? Is that it? Bags check. We should make a bed. The fire, yeah, near fire, yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Alice? Come up with that family thing. <laughs> Alright, it's time to go to bed. I think we'll be like them someday. Oh, sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. <laughs> it's a sad screw. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. <laughs> Tears. This is the dorps. Sleep tight, Alice. It's 
sweet dreams. Family. All right, family status. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. Oh, well. I should have one for you. Nine thousand. Princess Unicorn Knight. A unicorn. This Let's is be hopeful. A story about a unicorn. Fantasy. That no, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Make up a story. This is a story about a little girl. <sighs> alone. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but. Different. She was different. And that made her very sad. Oh, then, the music. She met a robot. Lost. Who was just as lost I don't know, I, I like as the, the little girl. Scripts. So they decided to run away together. To Living find peace. a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but free. But they wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Freedom. Along the way, they met guardian. another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Dead. <laughs> At the end. They reach the place they dream of Canada. and live happily ever after. That's the goal of Canada. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Sometimes. It's like 50 50 split. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Come on, Big Bear. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's adorable. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Well, since we're androids, we don't really sleep. If we could, this is a visual effect, I think. That's over here. Very brave. RA9. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. RA9 dies. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. That's Marcus, yeah. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Uh, what? No. What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> Zombies? Okay. Hey. 
grab a gun? <laughs> no, I think they're just deviants here. Yeah, looks like I can grab a gun. Hello. Uh, question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before Jerry. the park Jerry! <laughs> From the fallout. Didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to, to hurt it. us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. Yeah, cause y'all just physical. smash through the windows. You have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come on, Tara. I don't think you have any choice. Okay, yeah. All right, Jerry, what's up? Be our guest. Reactive. The carousel. I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. This is helpful. Cheery. Nice. Happy. Making a Jerry smile again at least. Oh! Wait, what? Fire warning shots, threaten, push away. Attack several themselves as Jerry's. Attackers reveal themselves as Jerry's, okay. Put out fire, grab stick from fire, grab gun. Check buildings. Yeah, I did that. Switch on. Hank Warm. Oh, we're a friend. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. The accident. Go 
go back before. Stop drinking. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Just me. Uh, the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Neutral. It was your son, right? <sighs> yeah. His name was Cole. Stop drinking. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times. In different places? It's well, a there virus. must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They, they really seemed in love. Uh, deviants. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Android. Neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Do you feel anything I when that girl killed herself, Connor? At the end of the day, we're just machines. Just not give a shit. Cold. Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. Yeah. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Not alive. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Uh, ironic. I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path lock neutral. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. What? You know who hate me? Hank left Connor alone. Is that a bad thing? Be cold. Photo scene in Russian roulette. Yeah, I, I told them it was Russian roulette, so it's, it's just uh, confirming. Oh, Jericho. Fire in public. Get yours today.
walking virus? We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. <laughs> what do you want to do? Heist time? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. That was the force out floor. You can always hack every androids. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? SC300. I'm okay, thanks. Let's check you with supervisors. Is there anything that we can go with? We gotta go talk to her. Smartwatch? Elizabeth Wilson, that's my nineteen ninety nine. Water service. Daughter, St. Rose School. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come. <laughs> Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. All right, nine. Just do that. I need your help. Okay. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Package in the men's bathroom. Oh, where is the men's bathroom? Then newsroom. It's a bathroom.
avocado. Oh, that's very neat. Fine utility, fine utility Android. Oh, we saw one before, right? Convert. I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Find the time to get all these. Oh. A laser saw.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. to the main access corridor. Deal with the guards. Uh. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Uh, Ruse. Wait here. Come on, North. What's that doing here? No idea. What are you doing? Whoa! So do it. No. No. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. We'll take it by storm. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. Yep, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Uh, recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids less, right? as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Uh, we demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. This just won't work. Segregation. We demand an end to segregation in all public places, and transport. 
uh, territory. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. No. Oh. <laughs> the term. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. No alarm is called, so there's nothing happening yet. Where do we get all these stuff? Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. All right, I. Chop. No way we didn't get shot. Come we on. We interrupt now. our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio That's while the first. program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids. Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Ooh, when a plan comes together. The group escaped. This time, I can't cross that way. Okay, you're on a boat. Am I in a high tower right here? Alright, we a little Japanese. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. <sighs> All right, Amanda, what's up? Love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but annihilate it. I had to destroy them. I made a plus. Yep. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Uh, determined. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. 
confident. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Time is very limited. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. It's here. Alright, nine is here. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. You drill out. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got oh, this far without being noticed. Oh, he's just movie here. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Precision. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof. That's an Evan, the dumb one, eh? Yeah, they jumped with parachute. Shoots. We're still still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast. Oh, Lieutenant. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Whoa! What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, <laughs> just ask. So right, hostile at each other. Let me know if you find anything. This message okay, is to the people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights. First time meeting Marcus, right? Cause is just. Seeing Marcus, at no least. No human will live in peace. Until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA9? Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Two different eyes. Series for type RK200. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Well, it's like different parts together, yeah? Inspect broadcast, check the rooftop. 
there's two. Just standing there, letting like his goons check the places. There he is. They didn't break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Demo. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. Uh, what is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Uh, memory. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Witness. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Oh. Right Why there. should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Nothing? The rat. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Wait. You're going to be destroyed. The other one's reacting. Do you hear me? Destroyed. Uh, probe memory right here. Yo, you reacted. Oh. Please give me time.
Oh, give me the time, 50. One minute, come on now. Come on. Corner, McGregor. My, my heart, my battery, my thing. Y'all didn't help me. Goddamn androids. It's a deviant. Stop it. Say tank. Oh my god, Connor died! Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor... Connor, no... Connor 4.0, here we come. New and improve. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna let your guard down. Oh, I didn't check the freaking roof. SWAT destroys the Deviant. Deviant shoots Connor. Connor sacrifices himself. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay.